Okay, cool. So what we're going to do here, this is, this is basic. This is basic step one, just taking you through how to set up a Facebook uh, business manager. Now, a business manager is, is different than an actual ads manager. And in this case, the reason why we have to set up a business manager is because this account, this personal account needs to access your business page. And in order to do that, it needs to be a business manager account. So very different. So for example, with me, with my business, I have a business manager account that gives me the ability to request access to other people's business pages. Now, in this case with Richard, he doesn't have a business page. It's not his business page that we're going to be running. It's your business page, right? So in that case, this profile needs to set up a business manager. And that's exactly what it says here. Manage ad accounts, pages, and the people who work on them all in one place. It's free. So Richard will have a business manager to access your business page. Okay, so that's this is the ultimate account to have. This means that you have um, that you're managing other people's account. This also gives you the ability to set up multiple ad accounts, even for you. And and so in my business manager, for example, I have multiple ad accounts because I have a business manager. And why would I need multiple ad accounts? One, because what I do is I I treat each ad account as its own campaign because it's because it's a different project so for example one ad account will be for my facebook ad course another ad account will be for my real estate course another ad account would be for my marketing course three different types of courses three different types of projects but all under my name all under my one account that's a business manager a business manager also again as i mentioned gives you the ability to manage other people's pages so in this case richard needs to be able to access your page. So that's why a business manager is what he absolutely has to have. So let's set this up. All we're going to do is come over here to business.facebook.com and then we're going to click on create account. And all this is going to do is, is, and, and we can name this, we can name this, um, 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 your, your account as well. So why don't we just name it, um, the main what the main name we're rocking with is um is is the consulting or not the consulting one but what's the, the um the um the compliant uh, um I can't hear you bro you're muted the the compliant the, healthcare solutions perfect compliant health care solutions Perfect. Okay. So, and then, and then the name will just be, we'll just go with Dan and then your business email is going to be Dan at compliant health care solutions.com. Okay. So Dan at compliant health care solutions.com. That's the, that's the business account name, health, uh, compliant health care solutions. Um, your name will go Dan Robinson and then submit. Okay. So this is, again, man, this is, this is the highest type of account you can have within Facebook ads um, was created. Confirm your email address. So go ahead and go on your end and just confirm that. So you should have received an email from Facebook. Okay. So after you confirm it, then you just come over here and you refresh this page and that should now give us the green light to proceed. So let's refresh this page. Okay, so verify your business email to continue. You still haven't. So go ahead and check it again. Perfect. So yeah, so always when you when you confirm that email, make sure you're logged into Facebook, right? So log into Facebook first from your desktop and then and then go to your email, confirm that email, and then and then now we have the green light. Perfect. So now as we come in, we have a brand new ad account. We have a brand new business manager account. This right here is powerful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do, I'm going to do first things first. Before I, before I add anything, I'm going to make sure that we have access to the page, to the pages. So in your case, it's just one page, your, your Facebook business page. So now we have to give this ad account, this business manager access to your business page. And the way we do that is we simply click on, I clicked on business settings, but if you 
you want to, again, you can click these dots. Everything is around these dots. Okay. Everything is around these dots. Um, and on, on our next call, I'm going to have you log in and I'm going to have, I'm, I'm going to navigate you so you can bookmark all this shit. Cause really this can be, it can seem so overwhelming, but at the end of the day, there's only a few things that you click on like ever. There's only a few things that you'll ever click on. And so the way I really do it in my training, in my coaching calls is I have you, and that's, that's call number one, but I know we're going, you know, fast track on this one, but we'll go back to that call here in the near future, but I have you bookmark everything. So, so ads manager, I would have you bookmark the uh, uh, events manager. I'd have you bookmark the audiences, um, which are down, which are, it'd be, well, as, as we set up everything, we'll start to see more, um, more, more functions, more features, but saving the audience, bookmarking the conversion page. So there's a handful of, of, of super important tabs that you'll ever click on. And, and I have you bookmark all that. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm in the business settings. I'm right here, business settings. And this is kind of where it all happens. This is where everything is set up. So all I'm going to do first is I'm going to make sure that we have access to the business page because that's the business page we're going to be running ads from. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on pages over here to the left. And this is going to give me um, the ability to add. So Compliant Healthcare Solutions doesn't have any pages yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to add it. So I'm going to request access to a page. Now, if this was my Facebook business manager, okay, and if it was my business page, then all I would need to do is click on add and click on add a page because I already own it. So if I just click on add a page, then it automatically syncs and automatically connects to my business manager. But because this is not my, my ads manager and we're going to be requesting access to a different business page, then what we're going to do is we're going to go request access. So for example, when I deal with clients, I'm in my business manager, I'm in my business settings, and then all I do is I go to their business page. So in this case, um, we're going to use you as a perfect example, compliant healthcare solutions. So this is exactly how, um, how I access, how I request access. I'm going to walk you through it right now. Um, compliant health care Okay, where's that page at? You know what? Since you don't have the 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 bit, you don't have that Facebook ad, you don't have that Facebook personal page anymore. So I wonder if you still have the business page. Okay, so in this case again, at, we're either going to request access to somebody else's business page, and that's what I do all day. So I'm in my business settings. I'm requesting access to clients' business pages, and that's how I would do it. I would request access to a page. And I would just simply add a page. So I'd come right here. I would go to the client's um, Facebook business page. For example, let's just say it was this one. Let's say this was your business page. This is my client's business page. I click on that. I enter it right there. I click that. And then I add page. And then what's going to happen is they're going to get a notification. And they're going to have to. And, and, and this is very, very, very powerful because... Um, Actually, I was going to show it, show it to you here, but, but there's no business page on here. But, but anyways, once you click on add page, that client will get a notification and, 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 and they'll have to follow through with putting their password and then you have access. But in this case, there's no other business page. We're going to create a page from scratch. So all we're going to do is click on create a new page. So again, this is for the beginner. This is someone that's setting up a, an ads manager, a business ads manager, excuse me, a business ads manager for the first time. And even going straight into creating a new page. And that's what we're going to do with you. So you're starting from, from scratch, right? So we're going to go, we can go local business, um, company, organization, or institution, brand or product, um, cause or community. It'd be either number one or two, which one throw up the finger one or two. Okay. So we'll go with local business or place. Perfect. So page name, we're going to go, um, see if we can grab the same old one compliant, health care solutions. Let's see if we can grab that same name. Um, and we're going to go down to, um, it wouldn't be doctor. Would we go, um, it wouldn't be hospital. Would it be in-home service?
Perfect. Medical and health is, is, it is what it is. It is. That's, that's a good one. Okay. So street address, we can, um, I'm pretty sure we can create that later. Let's see if we can. Okay. Please enter a city. Is it Los Angeles? Okay. So let's, let's at least enter the city and then we'll be able to create the page. Perfect. So now we have a brand new page, a brand new, uh, business ads manager. Um, and that's it right there. So Dan Robinson, um, and then what we'll do is we will simply, um, so there's our page. There's our page right there. And, and to, to access it, we can go to view page and that's when we can start adding everything, pictures and all that stuff, right? So um, all the contact information, you'll be able to access everything here. And what I wanna do is let me see, sometimes you can change the, um, Look at that, we got the name, Compliant Healthcare Solutions, perfect. So I don't think we'll be able to get the username, but, um, but um, let's see, because the other, the old page had that username, but let's see if I can, um, if I can, if I can change it to, to something. The username is what you wanna get right away. And that's what I always, always, always um, encourage and I always consult on is the username. So for example, if I go to, if I go to my page, in fact, let me just go to my, my business page. This is, this is step one. This is for anyone that's starting a business, right? You're bringing a business to social media. You're, you're, you're now, you know, starting to build your brand over here on social media. What I always consult on is step one is whatever that name is. You have two different places to put it. And this, this goes for any platform, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever. You have the, you have the, the title of the page, which is normally your name. It's normally your name, or if you're branding a company, then obviously that, that could be your company name, just like this, right? But the username, that's what you want to customize as well. So the, the title of the page, that's not as important in my opinion than the username. I want everything to match on the username because it's the username that I'm going to list on everything as far as Facebook. Inspire Digital, Inspire Digital, Inspire Digital, Inspire Digital. Everything is one name. So with Compliant Healthcare Solutions, what I always shoot for is at least trying to customize the username. Now, sometimes you can do it right away. Um, and sometimes you need to get a, a certain amount of likes on the page, which we can easily run a like ad. But um, and sometimes you can you can you can customize it right away. But as soon as you can get your like count up to at least 50 likes, and then come over here and customize this this username, and and again go to all these other platforms and get that same username. Now, in your case, I know you had an old page that was named that, so I I, I don't think you're going to be able to get it over here. I think it might still be locked. So compliant health care solutions, solutions. Wow, let's see, am I spelling that right? Compliant health care solutions. Yes, it's correct. Create username. Wow. Praise God, brother. Praise God. Wow. Let me refresh this real quick before I get too, too excited. Um Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give us the name. Wow. We got the name, brother. We got the name. We got the name. Praise That's God. super important, man. That's super important for branding. It's super important just for your overall audience to, to, to know one name and one name only. I'll be able to use this one name for my videos and everything also moving forward. Well, well, you can use it. Well, yeah. Well, it's not Healthcare important. Solutions, yeah. It's not really for videos, but it's just the, the name, the username for the page. So I understand. You can tell people, yeah, my business page is facebook.com forward slash compliance healthcare solutions. Okay. Right. That's the that's the um that's the business page. Do you do you have the dot com as well, right? Yes. Okay, so you even have the email or you even have the email. So Dan at um compliant health care solutions.com okay so dan at compliant healthcare solutions.com now hopefully you're still logged into the into the personal page because as you go and confirm that email 
you want to be logged into the personal page as well. So if you receive, let me know if you receive an email. You want to oh, confirm shit. that. Okay. Well, I'm out. Okay, now here it is. We can confirm that it's a new one. Okay, so go ahead and go ahead and confirm I that. And then what I'm going to I haven't got an email yet. You haven't got what's it? your advice? No. Well, I mean yes, I did it. I've confirmed now. Yeah, I can't hear you, bro. You're, you're but it's fine. Let's um, let's just continue. Just let me let me continue here. So let me put contact. I'm gonna put send message. And and when it comes to the business page, you want to you want to deck it out with as much information as possible. Like not just for your audience, but for Facebook. Like you want the page to be to to look legit. Um, and so and that goes for the ads manager as we go back to the business manager as well. You want to put in as much information in there as possible. Um, so Facebook knows that you're a legit business, you know, address, all that shit. So let me, um, let me go back to, so now we got the, we, now we got the business page. We're looking really good on the business page. Let me, um, let me go back to, to the, to the, to the ads manager. So over here, the business manager, we got our page connected. So we're good. Now, what we want to do is we want to come in here. We want to make sure that the payment, the credit card information is up to date. So we want to make sure that we put a credit card in for, uh, a credit card here. This is going to be the account, the card that, you know, your, your ads are ran from. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and add this real quick. Let me, um, awesome. So that's what you want to do next is, is, is the, is the card. So there's the card. And all we're doing is we're just scrolling down this left-hand side. We're scrolling down the left-hand side and just making it, making sure that everything is set up. So as we come in, set up a new ad manager, our page is the first thing we'll, we want to connect, which we're good. And then once you connect the page, you always want to add yourself, add people, and you'll see your name right here. So we already did that with, with you down here. In fact, let me do it again. Actually, let me see. Yeah, page, page, yeah, admin access. So we're fine right there. But if, if, if we weren't, if that name, actually, when you request access to the page, sometimes your name isn't down here. So you're always going to click add people and then, and then add yourself because um, there always has to be a personal, it's like a, re, a, 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 a trace back to the original person. Like a page is always traced back to the person who owns a personal page. So, so it's like a lineage. Right. So where does it, where, who, who tracks back? Like, where does it track back to? And it tracks back to Dan. So you always want to make sure that you click that and then give yourself man, uh, admin access, but you're already assigned. So we're fine with that. So right here, we're good. Um, but if you didn't see your name right there, that's what you have to do is add yourself. Okay. So we got that. The ad account, this is what we have to set up next. Now we added the payment. We added the payment info, but now the ad account is what we're going to set up. We just set up a business manager. But in that business manager is the ad account. The ad account is where your card is tied to. And even though it's, it's, even though we tied it here, which, which really allows it to be the master card for everything, but we may have to still add it to the ad account. So that's the next thing we want to set up. Once we connect our page, then we set up the ad account. So let's go ahead and click on the blue button. And then we're going to request access to an ad account or we can add an ad account or we can create a new ad account and we're going to create a new one. So this ad account is going to be compliant health care solutions. So all ads so solutions, all ads will be ran from this business page through this business manager through this ad account. The ad account is what's tied to the credit card. The ad account is what's, is, is what's tied to your Facebook pixel. And the pixel is what we're going to add to your pages. And that's how Facebook starts to track who's landing on your pages because the pixel is on every page. That's how Facebook starts to collect all this data of everyone who's, who's landing on your pages. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to create the ad account and um, we're going to name it Compliant Healthcare Solutions and click next. Then what we're going to do is we're going to, this ad account will be used for my business, which is that one right there, Compliant Healthcare Solutions. And then we just simply cr click on create. And sometimes by default, it'll bring over that MasterCard. And sometimes we have to add it again. So all we're going to do is get, click on your name. We're going to go manage ad account, full, full admin access, and we're going to click assign. Nice work. Okay, so that has been created, add payment. And then sometimes the card will already be there. Perfect. It's already there. Okay, cool. So that is there. We click on, um, actually it wasn't there. My bad. It wasn't there. So let's go ahead and add it again. Awesome. So now our payment is, is, is fully um, inputted. So let's go back to business settings. So that's where we're at. Business settings. Again, everything is around these dots. You click on those dots and you can navigate all through the ads manager. So as I come back to the, to the business settings, um, and this is one page you want to bookmark for sure. What I would do is I would create a folder up at the top, um, add folder, and I would call this ads manager. And then what, what I do, and we'll do this on another call, but what I, what I really teach people to do is, is start bookmarking all these different pages, all the most important pages. This is our business settings. This is a very important page. So what I would do is I would bookmark this, call it business settings and drop it in the ads manager um, um, folder. And I would do it right, do it just like that. Now I already have one over here, but um, let's see, I move it over here. And this is just a dummy account, but that's where, that's where I would save it. I would create a whole new folder. Now it's already, it's already over here, but I'd have to delete this one. But let me just delete this one. And there's my ads manager. So I just start dumping a bunch of stuff in the folder. And that helps me navigate through the ads manager faster without getting complicated, without complicating anything. So, so again, people, there's Dan Robinson. He's assigned to it. Um, and then now what we have down here is we have, it shows us um, the pages that we have access to, and it shows us the ad account that we have, that we have going. And again, that ad account is tied to your credit card, and we're going to get your Facebook pixel from that ad account as well. Everybody has, an, uh, everybody has a pixel and it's tied to an ad account. There's one pixel per ad account. That's why when you set up a, a business manager, Again, the re what I explained in the beginning, the benefit of, 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 of setting up an actual business manager versus just having an ad account is the business manager allows you to set up multiple ad accounts. So, so again, you have multiple projects that you want to work on, Dan. You have, a, you have a few different projects, right? This ad account is going to be for this one project. We'll be able to set up another ad account for your affiliate marketing. We'll be able to set up another ad account for nurses. Right. And keep them all separate and run ads from different ad accounts with different pixels on different Karcher pages, tracking everything individually. That's the benefit of an ads manager, a, a business ads manager versus just an ads manager. Okay. Right. So, 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 yeah. so now, so we got the people, we got the pages uh, set up, which we just looked at. There's your name tied to the page. So you're good there. We have our ad account over here set up so we're, we're good with that with that ad account and then um, down here as we scroll more to the to the left we got our payment set up so we're good there and then the business info this is what you want to set up for sure as well um, and then notifications also man you don't want to be notified with a bunch of random stuff but you want to make sure that the email um, is 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 verified uh, that's that's the business permissions only this email has permission that email is under the business roles, that email business updates. So any type of emails, marketing updates, um, we'll just turn those on as well. Um, partner program updates. Um, I don't want you missing anything really from Facebook. Like if you, if they're going to send you something newsletter, like read everything, start to read everything from Facebook. Um, cause they're not sending junk. They're, they're sending all shit that pertains to, to running your business successfully on Facebook. So try to catch every email, um, ad accounts, what's up or what's app, what's app, you know, account. Um, there's your pixel info. Okay. So any email, perfect. So we're good there on the notifications. And then again, the business info. So over here, this is the ad account. 
Um, and then you want to fill in the business details for sure. You want to, so right now you have one ad account. As you start to spend money, then you'll have more multiple ad accounts. Um, business options, two-factor authentication, pages and notifications. My info, Dan Robinson, there's the email. Um, so we're good on all this. You just want to make sure we fill out as much information um, as possible. I'll just put in compliant. Compliant. Hey, actually, with this being my brother's business, should my name be on so much stuff or would it be better to set it up? It, it doesn't matter. Nothing's, okay. it doesn't matter. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Yeah, it's all good. Um, so we'll just put a uh, city, we'll put um, Los Angeles. Okay, so we'll just try to say, give me the zip code. 91607. Okay, business phone, enter a valid phone number. Give me, give me your cell. 424. Wait, 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 wait. Perfect. So we got all that information in there. You want to fill that as much as, as much as much business info as possible. And then what you can also do um, is the Instagram account. So if you're, if you have an Instagram account and you're, you're going to, you know, be running ads on Instagram, those ads are ran through Facebook. So you'd want to tie your account here. All you do is click on add and then it'll have you log into your Instagram account. And then those two will be synced and, 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 and combined. So we won't do the Instagram right now. Um, and, and nothing else over here is really, is really necessary at all. So now we got all that set up. That's how you set up a Facebook business manager. And it all starts right here, logging into your personal Facebook page. And then from another tab, going to business.facebook.com. And that's how it's done. And again, as I mentioned in the beginning, the reason for a business ads manager, a business manager account is so you can request access to other people's pages if you're running ads for them or if you have multiple businesses and you need multiple ad accounts to run ads because if you have multiple businesses you don't want to run everything from one ad account like if i have one ad account i don't want to run ads for my real estate business and then run ads for my facebook marketing uh, course and then run ads for my digital marketing course those are three different businesses you don't want to run those three different businesses under one ad account. You'll need multiple ad accounts and that's the purpose of a Facebook business um, ads manager. So um, business.facebook.com, that's where you set it up and that's where you start.